All right, good morning. I'm actually just not gonna train today. I'm doing a rest day, but I figured I have time. So I'm gonna do a full day of eating and we're gonna go grocery shopping together. But in the meantime, if you guys are gonna watch this, you're just gonna hang out with me today and see what I do on a day that I actually don't even train. Pretty much I'm just gonna eat a bunch of food, go shopping and I work a lot, but I'm gonna make that really entertaining. All right, you guys will see. And let's see where I'm at, okay. Where I'll start is I'll just put a dab of butter in my pan here. So my pan's ready to go to heat up. And then I'm gonna get a bowl, boom. So I'm just gonna crack my eggs. I don't know what it is, but this morning I feel just like really hungry. I think, I don't know if it's because I had two hard training days in a row, but normally I keep my calories a bit lower on non-training days. But because I feel so hungry right now, I'm just gonna have like, I think I'll probably just do five whole eggs. Just thinking about six. All right, so there's like five right there. I'm just mixing these eggs up. I don't know why, I just always prefer scrambled eggs in the morning. It just feels better. So I'll put some scrambled eggs in there. And once I get my eggs pretty much ready, I turn my pan on. You see that? Yep. So I'll get some heat going. And I'll show you what these eggs just straight scrambled eggs. All right. All right, so my pan's getting warm right here. I just melted a bit of butter in it. I just got back from Australia and they have amazing bread there. So this is just like a fruit loaf. It's sourdough bread with a bit of like raisins and maybe probably some cinnamon in there. It's really good. And my toaster. All right, so. Put these on the toast. No, I just gotta be careful not to stay in the way. All right, pan's hot. You always wanna get your pan hot before you put your eggs in there because your eggs are gonna cook so much faster. So I always wait for the pan to heat up. Then, listen to this. You guys hear those eggs start to sizzle? That's how you know your pan's hot enough, all right? So those are cooking. And these eggs have been cooking for like maybe 60 seconds. Probably not even that much. All right. And it's easy. Just got five whole eggs right there. And if you didn't know, there's roughly 70 calories in an egg, okay? So five times 70, this is about 350 calories worth of food. Those are done already, all right? Pretty amazing. Eggs take like literally maybe two minutes to cook. It's pretty awesome. So got my fruit loaf toast, it's nice and warm. And then what I like to do is put butter on it right there. Here's another one of my favorite I have this for breakfast and sometimes I'll have this as a late night snack. This is just fat free Greek yogurt. Actually, yeah, you can see that. Natural Greek yogurt. Fat free right there. You see fat free. And I go fat free just because it's just gonna be less calories, but you still get a high amount of protein. Alright. High quality Greek yogurt is super high in protein. Alright, so what I'm doing here, I got my food scale. I'll just turn that bad boy on. You got my bowl on there. It's at zero. I always have around 300 grams of Greek yogurt for breakfast. So 300 grams of Greek yogurt is about 30 grams of protein. 230. And then they have these little Greek yogurts right here. This is another Greek yogurt, but it's strawberry. It's sweet. I usually throw a little bit of that in here as well. I'll top that up to like 300. Okay. Boom, right there. 310. Put orange juice in the yogurt, all right? This is orange pineapple juice, which kind of sucks, but that's all I had at the grocery store when I bought it. So, I got 310 grams of Greek yogurt right here. Now, I'm going to put about 180 grams of orange juice in it. Good, right there. 
So just a bit of orange juice. It's like probably like four ounces of orange juice, give or take. So you can see what that looks like right here. Okay, so that's just mixed up. That's Greek yogurt, a little bit of strawberry Greek yogurt and some orange juice. Here's my handhold mixer and all I do. Right here, okay. That's like over 30 grams of high quality protein. A little bit of jam on my fruit toast. So we're going strawberry today. These might be like maybe the only carbs I eat today since I'm not really going to train. But so I got strawberry jam. So two big pieces of toast on my fruit loaf. I didn't forget about my eggs. Well, they might be a little cold now. So I'll put my five eggs right here. Get out of the way. There's breakfast. All right, if you can see that. Five whole eggs, some fruit toast, some Greek yogurt. Set this right here. Alright. Oh, fuck. Now I'm ready, down, ready to sit down and eat. Dude, total game changer for your eggs. Check out all oh, that focus. That's just Tabasco Sriracha sauce. Alright, really good. I love it. I put it on top of my eggs. It's like really good for flavor. Right there. Then, yeah. All right. So I'm gonna eat these. So, pretty standard breakfast for me. Five whole eggs, two pieces of fruit toast, big bowl of Greek yogurt with a bit of orange juice in it. I'll go ahead and do this right now. So. After I get eat most of my breakfast, I'll then take my vitamins. So, right here, <clears throat> there's the vitamins right here. You kind of see them in my hand. That's just four multivitamins. So and some vitamin D. And then I also always take it with my creatine. I take creatine twice a day, so I'll take like usually. 10 to 12 grams of creatine a day just because I want to have optimal creatine stores you know in my muscles and research has shown for like bigger guys you know with a lot of muscle so if you weigh like around 200 pounds or over and you're lean you can take 10 grams of creatine is actually better than just taking five and you'll actually optimally saturate your muscles you know with creatine so I take creatine twice a day so I think this is about like six or seven grams of creatine put it right there all right then it's cool. I got this little fancy hand mixer. Can mix my creatine up right there. All right. Uh, and all right, now I'm gonna finish the rest of my breakfast. I just tallied this up for my breakfast. I'm having about 940 calories for breakfast. 40% carbs, 31% fat, 29% protein. All right, you got 63 grams of protein in there, 83 carbs, 29 grams of fat, so yeah. That's a pretty nutrient, pretty, pretty big breakfast. I always have around, a, give or take a thousand calories, eight, 900 to a thousand calories for breakfast. So breakfast is a big meal for me just because you've been fasting the entire night. So I don't mind having a big breakfast and it kind of keeps, ties me over until probably like 11 AM or 12 PM, you know, where I'll have lunch. So right there, that's my breakfast. You got five whole eggs, two big pieces of toast, some jam, 300 grams of fat-free Greek yogurt, a little bit of orange juice, and yeah, vitamins. All right, so meal one in the bank right there. We'll pick back up on lunch. I don't know what time it is. I think it's around 11, but I'm getting ready to have my second second meal of the day, and I'm gonna fix a cup of coffee. So had breakfast, then I went <clears throat> upstairs, did a morning swim, which I always did. I did some rehab on my ankle and on my knee. Which I do every day. I'm not gonna vlog that because it's it's literally boring as fuck. All right, but what I have here is I just have some Angus topside steak. You can't really see that, all right? But it's just it's a lean red meat. Okay, so this is what I've been eating for lunch probably the past month or so. So just a big piece of meat right here. All right, you see that right there. All right. It's pretty good size of meat. I'll actually weigh it out because 
whenever I'm vlogging full days of eating, I want to be accurate and I want to be as realistic as I possibly can be with everyone. So here it is. All right. That is 296 grams. All right. So about 300 grams of steak right there. And then what I do, because I can't be fucked to like make a nice meal. I just throw it in my air fryer right here. Okay, and I legit, it's it's so easy. It takes me practically one minute. I just take some salt right here. I'll salt it. All right, so I got the steak in there. And then all I do is I just take some salt. I, I salt it liberally. Just some super simple seasoning. This is brisket rub seasoning, whatever I have. And I'll just put some of that on there just for a bit of flavor. All right, not too much, but still something. And then all I do, check this out. Turn my air fryer on, all right? It's already preset to cook steaks. Then, turn the timer on, and I set it for eight minutes. Then I press, and I turn it on. And this cooks for eight minutes. I literally don't even have to watch it. It's like a microwave, except it actually cooks up a really nice steak and it's so convenient so that's it eight minutes take and i'll pick up when i'm eating it and i'm also having my second coffee of the day dude i drink a bunch of coffee i like coffee it's good and it keeps me focused so i'm, gonna, I'm about to fix a double espresso and i'll show you how i do that so i just have one of these pretty simple delonghi machines right here is i got my double shot right here okay you got it right there Again, I use a food scale because it's just so convenient. And you want to put, let me zero that out, about 10 grams of coffee for like a double shot of espresso. I think it's like 10 to 12. Is you temp it down, okay? So right there, I'm just temping the coffee. Then all I do is I put this right here and you can kind of hear that coffee machine going, all right? So right now, I'm brewing a coffee while I'm cooking my steak. Perfect. So I got a double espresso with a bit of coffee milk inside the coffee. As my steak's cooking, I'll log this steak, all right? And I'll, I'm gonna eat this steak, and that'll be like my first lunch of the day. So, 300 gram steak and a cup of coffee. All right, so I'm having lunch. It's like 1 p.m. I ended up working longer than I thought I would. So I'm having this cold steak right here, 300 grams of steak, and then I stole some of my girlfriend's potato fries. That's like, I don't know, like maybe two ounces of potato fries. So that's meal number two, all right, after the coffee. But I'm going to get this down and then I'm going to get right back to work and then we'll go grocery shopping. All right, I know this might seem really gay, but the truth is, is my cameraman decided to finally show up to work today. And I was just going to say, like, I was just getting dressed and I'm going to wear normal clothes today, but I was just getting dressed. And so I just wanted to show everyone God, my cameraman's got the worst job. He's got to see me in my underwear. <laughs> but this is this is what I look like just standing in my underwear. I weigh I'm 5'11", I weigh 205. It's a pretty modest physique. Like you see, I got a bit of body fat right here. I'm not like just shredded to the gills, all right? But this is what I look like, you know, with no pump, all right? Just on a normal every day, okay? I have like decent sized legs. You notice my right leg's a bit bigger than my left. Okay, if you look, if you compare my legs, and that's just because of this knee surgery. But like, I have a, it's, I'm happy how I look. All right, I'll put it that way. I'm happy with my physique and I've worked really hard for it. And I don't train to look good. I just train to be healthy and I train for performance. But that's, that's legit what I look like. So actually turn around so you can see this mirror. So I know this might seem really crazy. And just by the way, my girlfriend made me buy this mirror for her. It's one of these total body mirrors, but I actually like it. It actually, it's kind of nice to have a total body mirror. But I just want to show you guys what I look like on an everyday basis, like normally, all right? And what's kind of cool is I'm going to wear real clothes today, all right? Because I never wear real clothes, very rarely. So... I'm getting dressed up nice to go grocery shopping. <laughs> Wait, but hold on, I got. I'm gonna wear jeans, and I'm gonna wear my true strength 
drop hem shirt, which I'm proud of, man. I freaking like this. It's cool. They're really comfortable, and I'm proud of these. They, they're really comfortable. They look good, and you can just see how they're kind of long, kind of really comfortable, easy fit, and so, yeah. All right. Now that I'm all dressed, you guys saw me get dressed and how I look, let's go grocery shopping. But yeah, man, it's like 2 p.m. and there's like dead stop traffic. I'm, I'm heading to Mall of the Emirates right now. Today's going to be kind of an interesting vlog because I'm not actually training. You guys are going to see like uh, kind of what I do on a normal day. I showed you guys what I've eaten today. Now I'm going grocery shopping because I'm almost out of food and I got to buy some more food. And everyone likes to see, you know, uh, what other people eat. And I'm going to show you, you know, <laughs> exactly what I eat, what I buy when I go grocery shopping, just so I can maintain, you know, my current physique and how I stay. I think it's a big reason how, why I stay kind of lean, strong and muscular is definitely because of my diet. So yeah. And you get to see a little bit of Dubai as well. Um, we're going to try to bring our camera into the grocery store and sometimes they can be strict about it. So we're going to have to do that discreetly. All right. But hopefully it'll work out. And what I do with the rest of my day, it's like, and honestly, it's not that interesting. I just sit on my computer all day and I write workouts for clients. I touch base, I um, check in on clients. Really like being an online trainer, it's, it's, it's not as glamorous as you might think, all right? It's instead of me doing in-person PT sessions at the gym where I'm standing around on the gym floor all day, I'm actually just sitting on my ass on a couch checking in with clients. You know, it's, I'm happy to do it, thankful to do it, but dude, like I said, it's, it's, it's nothing glamorous. So if you actually saw what I did, you know, day-to-day -day work when I'm actually not making content or not training, bro, it's freaking, I'm on a computer working. So if you guys see that, that's, that's an in that's the mall we're going to. I live right by here and that is an indoor ski slope. Like, so I live in Dubai and they legit have a indoor ski ski slope all right and they've had it for like 15 years already probably longer than that. they've had that since i've lived in dubai but it's crazy it's like dude dubai is such a f cool and interesting place like who builds an indoor ski slope in the middle of a desert just freaking dubai it's uh yeah and like this is the mall that i go to pretty much all the time because it's closest to my house so you guys can kind of get a feel of what's going on. And then hopefully we can see as we get closer, obviously I'm stuck in traffic, but we'll be able to see Mall of the Emirates. Stuck in traffic right outside of the mall, like no matter what time of day you come to this place, you're gonna get some traffic. Hopefully we'll just be able to get in there. Yeah. You know, it's actually almost faster if I would just walk to the mall from my apartment rather than drive. But obviously I can't be bothered to carry you know, a ton of groceries back to my apartment from the mall. Look at this guy. This guy in front of me, he's driving like a really nice BMW car. I can see his windows rolled down and he's smoking a cigarette. I'm just like, I don't know why that kind of stuff, it just irks me, it bothers me. I think people that smoke just bother me. Like, why would you smoke? And again, I understand freedom of choice and people can live the life they want to live, but you're literally paying to kill yourself. You're paying money to make yourself sick. No taxi, I'm not letting you in, bro. That's another thing here in Dubai. If anyone ever comes here, taxi drivers are the biggest assholes. The biggest asshole drivers, the worst. And so now here we are coming in to Mall of the Emirates. But obviously it's a zoo here. It's always a zoo here. Yeah. It's freaking just a nightmare. Like getting in and out of here is just, man, it's a struggle. John, are we rolling? Yeah? All right, is the audio on? Yeah. All right, awesome. All right, so I'm legit at the biggest grocery store in the I think Dubai, and whenever I go grocery shopping, I always get the most important thing first, meat, okay? Always. So actually, let me start off right here. 
I gotta buy my girlfriend some chicken because she likes chicken more than I do. I don't eat much chicken. I'll get her one case of these. Lean chicken breast is good. Then, these guys are my favorite. These guys know me. Salam alaikum. Yeah. Sir, do you have a uh, like top side? Here's what I want. Can, can I get all of this strip loin right here? I'll take that. This one is Australian. Yeah, no, I'll take it. Australian strip loin. What? Yeah, I'm sure. So I always buy really high quality red meat, always. And I, 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 I spend a good amount of money on it, but it's worth it because it's the highest quality food you can get. These steaks that I'm buying right now, these are gonna be like dinner steaks that I'll have for dinner. I always have like a bit nicer steak for dinner because that's just something I enjoy. Very nice. Thank you, sir. So I just got Australian beef strip loin steak right there. All right, now let's go over here because I think they might just have it already prepackaged. This is what I'm gonna get. This is like super lean red meat. It's topside, it's a bit chewy. But again, it's it's utilitarian steak. It's like a utility steak. All right, this is what I have for lunch all the time. All right, so you'll check that out. So I'll probably get, yeah, I'll probably eat two, 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 three days, like four days. And this is like cheap too, which is like, which is why I like it. I'm just getting, it's on discount too. So I always try to shop for a bargain. So just one, two, three, four, five. This will be like my lunch for probably like the next like five or six days. Always have high quality red meat for lunch, personally. Now let's go check out what they got over here. You know what? John, I'm gonna head back over here because I think they got, uh, I think they can just give me tenderloin. I'm sorry, sir. What is that? That's top side? Okay, all right. Can I get, do you have tenderloin? Australian? Which one's, which one's more affordable? Oh, it's about the same. All right, I'll tell you what, go ahead. Can I get, can I get one kilo of New Zealand beef tenderloin? And can I have that sliced with like two fingers thickness? So I'm just buying one, one kg of tenderloin steak. That's like, that's a good dinner steak. It's super tender and it's lean. And yeah, that's generally what I'm eating for dinner. Perfect, sir, perfect. Nate, can you just slice it, please? I'm spending probably, I don't know, like $100, $150 on red meat, just, just alone right now. Hey, shukran. Yeah, so 137 dirhams, that's like 40 bucks worth of tenderloin, give or take. All right, now, what's the, what else do I need? Now, eggs, eggs and yogurt, that's my big things. Got all this. So I already have a lot of potatoes at my house. So normally I'd buy potatoes, but no need for potatoes today. So now going into the dairy yogurt aisle and juice. Last time I was here, they didn't have this. So pulp free orange juice. This is like what I always have in my smoothies. It's like my favorite, all right? It's just, yeah, Florida's natural. I think you probably get that in the United States. Now what I'll get, all right? is I'll probably get four of these fat-free Greek yogurts. All right, these are the off-brand. What, you know what's crazy is this brand right here, Phage or Faya, however you pronounce it, this is almost double the price of this. It's the same amount of yogurt, but this is twice as expensive. All right, dude, I don't, I don't do that. So I would literally always get the best value for food. And because I eat so much Greek yogurt, I literally couldn't afford this. This right here, for context, this is like $14. $14 for like 1,000 grams of yogurt. Probably it's like a ripoff. All right, so this one is like 18 dirhams cheaper. This is like, I don't know what 30 dirhams is. It's like like six or seven bucks. Still probably, I'm still probably overpaying, but this is what I gotta do. Cause I just, I eat so much yogurt, I, I buy, I always buy a lot. Right here. Hi, ma'am. Fresh milk? Yeah. Okay, I'll probably get some. I'm gonna get one chocolate milk. 
I drink these after workouts, and this is like cheap. I might get two. It's like three, this is like a dollar. So their chocolate milks are cheap. And then another thing I like to get, these chocolate protein milks. So these got 30, like 27 grams of protein in them. And so I'll drink like, I don't know, one or two of these a day. It's like a treat, but it's also high protein. So I'll get like, I'll get like six or seven of them. Cause like, man, I go through these, I drink them. I drink them all the time. I'll make sure, I need to get some milk too. Tinica needs some milk. Basic full fat milk, I'll get that right there. And then I'm gonna get like the second most important thing, eggs. I always buy these. Actually, I should really do this thing. You know what, maybe I'll just do it today. How many eggs is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is 30 eggs. Okay, 30 eggs. So I might just buy all these eggs today because I'm gonna make this YouTube video about eating 36 eggs a day. Four. So there's 120 eggs. So I'm supposed to eat this many eggs a day. I don't know the difference. So there's 150. All right. So I'm literally just gonna buy 180 eggs, which is way more than I'd ever buy normally, but I'm gonna try to make this YouTube video eating 36 eggs a day for seven days. So yeah. Oh wait, Jean, I gotta go buy some salsa. I gotta go buy some salsa. I also really like cheese. So I'll have little miniature cheeses. Cheese is a high quality food. Those little, those are a good snack that I eat. This fucking shit. So this candy aisle right here. Bro, so much food that people eat is just so bad. Just complete trash. Oh, bro, you know what? It reminds me, I need to buy some water too. Ketchup, mustard, yeah, maybe salsa would be in here. Salt Bay. I always get pink Himalayan rock salt. And then I grind it up. I wonder if they have like a big grinder. Dude, I'm just getting pink Himalayan salt. A good quality salt is extremely important. All right, good vit or minerals in that. That's cool that they carry all these different foods from these countries. Oh, here we go, salsa right here. This is what I want. You're right, Jean, good job. I always buy it because uh, there's a Philippines uh, yeah. product. Mexican taco, is that salsa? It doesn't actually say salsa. Salsa dish, yeah. Salsa dip, medium. Medium merchandise from goods, please proceed All right. to customer That's what she's getting. Get some salsa. Hopefully that's what she wants. Bro, then I wanted to get, I wanted to... All right, I'll get that one too. That's, that's enough. Jean, let's go, let's go get some fruit. Just follow, follow me, please. Oh, wait, do they have tortillas? Right here. Here we go, boom. Yep. I also, are these sold in doubles? All right. I also eat tortillas. Like one of my favorite dinners is like a steak burrito. No, I don't like that one. So I get tortillas. These might not be the healthiest food, but dude, they're not really not that unhealthy. And it's just a good, easy carbohydrate to have. So I have steak and egg tortillas, steak and egg burritos all the time. So I'll eat those. All right. Let's go over here, raspberries. South Africa. Dude, I eat some fruit, not a lot. I'll just get a few deals of blueberries. Only two, because sometimes I forget to eat them. And it's just a waste of money. And then I'll get, man, the strawberries look pretty shit, to be fair. Yeah, these ones look better. I'll just get like one deal of strawberries. I want some pineapple. Only like one or two. This pineapple looks like ass. Let me see. It's 21 for a pineapple? How much is that? 21. But th these are better pineapples, yeah? Yeah, that does smell good. Hey, Jean, get this. This guy's gonna cut a pineapple up for me. 
Dude, let's check it out. They got this cool ass machine. Literally cuts everything off and just basically just gets the best pineapple. Sir, thank you very much. Dude, so we'll do a quick compare. So pineapple, I really like pineapple for a fruit just because it's loaded with uh, bromelain, which is a good digestive enzyme. So it's like a natural digestive. But check this out, all right? Which pineapple looks better, okay? This like light yellow, dry looking pineapple or this like bright gold, juicy pineapple. I know which pineapple I want, all right? So I'm paying more money for a better pineapple. Brazilian mangoes, Australian mangoes, Pakistan mangoes, all right? These ones look the best to me. And like mango is one of my good desserts. I gotta get these weighed. For me, my Hey, mom, happy new year. Water and butter. Just get one case of water. I'll get in front of the camera. You wanna hear something funny? I'm actually kind of embarrassed to say this, but I normally don't even bother getting my own groceries. I'll have my girlfriend do it, or sometimes I'll have Jean do it because like, I just feel like there's probably more productive ways I could spend my time and I probably sound like a fucking asshole saying that, but it's true. So like today I'm getting groceries obviously because we're making this video, but yeah. So Jean knows where all the stuff is. Where'd you say the butter was? Nice, that's what I want. Yup. Dude, I just get always normal butter. Usually comes frozen, I always get salted butter. People that take unsalted butter are strange to me. But yeah, because I cook with butter, I put it on like my toast. Butter's a good food, all right? Dude, that's crazy. Usually there's such long lines. All right, here we go. Let's put this right here. Probably 9.20. So 250 bucks. Thank you, mom. So I just spent 250 bucks, not bad. All right? Oh yeah, I want. Just can you give me a 10 or two fives? Perfect, that'll work, sir. Hey, and then I always give these guys a tip. Here you go, sir. Oh, thank you. Happy New Year, man. YouTube, YouTube. Of course, bro, I'll show you. This guy's a beast. Hey, bro, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I need more subscribers. Yes, there I am right there. Okay. Boom, there you go, sir. Thank you so thank much. You, hey, bro, happy new year, happy man. New year. Thank you. Honestly, I was surprised. I thought it was gonna be more expensive. So that was just like 250 bucks worth of groceries. My girlfriend might be kind of mad because I bought most of that food for me, but she pretty much eats the same thing as me anyway. Just a lot of meat, eggs. I eat a lot more dairy than she does, but uh, Dude, a ton of steak and eggs. Yeah, all right. So there's a successful grocery shop. I hope you guys get value out of that kind of stuff. Really, I'll just show you, you know, what I do in my day-to-day -day life. And I'm not training today, so I just went and got a bunch of food. I needed some food. And yeah, I don't know what else to really think of. I bought some really high quality steak for dinner, and then I bought just like some utility steak for lunch, quite a bit of meat. And then I bought a bunch of eggs because I'm gonna make this other YouTube video. And then, uh, dude, yogurt, which I, eat, I live on. And then the carbohydrate sources that I'm gonna be eating is potatoes, white rice, and some bread, some tortillas, and some fruit, all right? Notice I didn't eat many vegetables, I didn't get many vegetables, because I don't eat that many vegetables. I don't think vegetables are anything special. There's nothing wrong with them, but again, I don't really feel like they're that important either. Vegetables are like actually, while I'm thinking about it, they're really good for like fat people. Like, cause there's, there's basically no calories in them and they're really high in fiber. And all they do is take up space in your stomach. So they're really good for, you know, stomach volume. But that's, that's the kind of deal with, but yeah. And since the reason I don't eat that many vegetables is because sometimes when I eat too many of them, I get a little bit of like digestive distress. And so I don't really, like, I feel like they kind of hurt my digestion. And like I said, I just don't think they're anything special. Again, I'm not saying vegetables are bad, because they're not. I mean, I'd much rather people eat vegetables or like some carrots and broccoli rather than like a bag of potato chips, for sure. But if you're already lean, fit, and healthy, I don't really feel like vegetables matter that much. Whereas you definitely could not say that about like high quality animal foods like meat, eggs, dairy. Those things are so nutrient dense. And if I don't have red meat, I know it. Like, I immediately start craving it. So, like, 
that's how important it is in your diet. And if you just went and looked at the nutrient profile of, of foods, high quality animal foods, they're always the most nutrient dense and they always have the best nutrient profiles. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna train tomorrow or not. I'm gonna see how my legs feel because my, my next deadlift workout, which I'm wrapping up week 11 on basically my 12 week natty bulk program or the, my, my program that I took with Australian strength coach, I'm wrapping that up. Um, this is week 11. And so I'm supposed to hit like a, a double, a, 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 a heavy double tomorrow on deadlifts at 550 pounds. All right, so I have to get my mind right for that. And I want to make sure I feel strong. So uh, we'll see. I'm going to wake up tomorrow and make a, make a judgment call. If I know myself, I'll probably will work out just because I know myself. But if I still feel like really sore, my legs are too tired, I may push it one more day just to let myself recover more because 550 pound deadlift is, that's not something I can just like, you know, pull any day of the week easily, all right? I wish I was that strong, but it'll be, it'll be good. That'll be kind of a fun, cool little workout vlog. And yeah, I hope you guys are seeing like, trying to get stronger, you know, naturally. It's a pretty slow process, right? But uh, yeah, just, man, I eat really healthy, eat high quality food, and I'm just, I train consistently. And like, I only train four days a week. I train four days a week because that's all my body can really, I think, recover from, all right? I can't, I've noticed like if I try to train too much, I, I don't recover from it and I actually start to get weaker. And I think obviously, man, plus I mean, I'm not young anymore, I'm 36 and I'm, I'm lifting heavier weights than I ever have, you know, especially on like my deadlift. So I, I, you just need more time to recover from that. And I think I just need more time to recover in general. I mean, when you're natural, you need more time to recover. And when you're a bit older, you need more time to recover. And so I feel like uh, training four days a week and still training hard, I'm thankful that I'm able to do that. Let's pick this back up upstairs. All right, so just got home from grocery shopping and I'm putting away some groceries. I'm also really hungry, so I'm having my first dinner and it's just gonna be topside steak again. All right, so I got 281 grams right here and I'm gonna throw this piece on. All right, perfect. 500 grams of just lean steak. And again, I'll put that in the air fryer, just like so. So that's a lot of steak. Pretty good amount of steak. And then, I'll salt it, put some buns. So always salt it pretty liberally. And I gotta get a new salt grinder. This thing sucks. All right. And then, yeah. Asian blend, hopefully this will be good. I'm not really sure what I'm getting in right here. Put some salt on there and then again, second time today. Switch it to steak, 200 Celsius. I just cook it for eight minutes. So that'll be 500 grams of topside steak for my first dinner. At the end of this video, I'll show you guys my macros and my calories for the day. All right, so it's 8.54 p.m. I'm having dinner number two, kind of a late dinner. It's because Tinica got home late, but I'm having 300 grams of tenderloin steak, all right, and then three whole eggs. And I'm gonna make that with like a burrito. So here you see I have a tortilla that I melted some cheese with, and that'll be my final dinner. So yeah, 300 grams of tenderloin steak, three whole eggs, and I already calculated my, my, my calories. So today, for a non-training day, I finished with 3,898 calories. You're not gonna be able to see that, but that's what it says, 3,898. Honestly, it's probably somewhere closer between like 3,900, maybe 4,000 because I didn't add in the butter that I used to cook with today. And those little things add up, but there's a full day of eating. So today, you guys got to see exactly what I ate, around 4,000 calories. So it was non-training day, and then you got to go grocery shopping with me. So 
I hope you guys are seeing how I eat on a day-to-day -day basis and the food that I eat. And I promise if you start eating like that, you're going to start feeling really good and probably looking better and hopefully you'll be stronger. And tomorrow, I'm going to eat a lot today because I got like 550-pound deadlifts tomorrow that I got to crush. So we'll pick up then. I appreciate you guys watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you're getting value out of these vlogs.